Hey guys, this is your boy Hook Ridge here, and today I'm gonna go show you how to get two weapons: the Overseer's Guardian and the Spray and Pray. That can all be located in the same area. Before coming here, I recommend having 5,000, 6,000 caps, just like I do. Okay, so first you wanna make your way to Vault 81, which is northwest of Diamond City, right here on the map. You can see it. Diamond City's there. And Vault 81 is there. So then you want to make, so then you want to make it to the department store and hey. talk to a lecturer. Looking for something? Home. I have more stuff than I know what to do with. Let's see what you, you got. Barter? Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. You have to go to weapons. Well, I don't have any. Well, I already bought it, so she's not gonna have it for me. But uh, weapons, you're gonna have the overseas guarding to purchase, which will come for around 3,000, 2,500 caps. When I came around, I had max charisma, and I was wearing some charismatic um, suits and stuff. So when I got it, I just bought mine for two two grand, which is pretty good. And then it's right here, as you can see, the Overseer's Guardian. It's a good sniper rifle. When you first get it, it's gonna come with a night vision scope. You can mod it to be with whatever you want it. I personally chose the iron sights or the standard sights because it's just better. In my opinion, Un unless you want to like be that stealthy sniper character. Okay, now once you got the Overseer's Guardian, I'm gonna show you how to get the spray and pray. So you need to make your way back out of the vault. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diamond. <coughs> Stay out. Okay. Well, first. I don't know if I told you already, but in order to enter Vault 81, you have to play three fusion cores or have really good charisma and really lucky sometimes. And convince them, convince them to let you in. So then that's how you get into Vault 81. I don't know for the the spring place, you don't need to be inside of Vault 81. You just need to be next to it or and you have to um, wait for a merchant to come called cricket what i do is just, i just sit in a chair and wait 24 hours until she like see if she comes here so again this this might cost three thousand two thousand five hundred caps how much it co costs you for me it costs two thousand five hundred caps or 2,000 caps, I can't remember. So guys, if you be wait, you'll see that she will appear. And she like, she was spawning, if she doesn't spawn, you just keep on doing it. Ammo, weapons, and messy death. I got it all. And you wanna hey, talk cricket. to her? Got a hankering for melting face? Your girl. Let's you see what you have. And there they are. Did your heart skip a beat too? And well, of Crick. course you. Better buy my big guns think now. I don't have anything. Or enemies, well. Right now. Let's see what uh, you got. Just think it? how damn good it'll feel holding one of these. And you want to go to weapons, and around the bottom, wherever you see something called spray and pray for like 2,000, 2,500 caps, however much it costs for you, and you would want to buy it, and there you go. They're both really good guns. I'm saying, the spray and pray is, um, Not looking to buy right now. has explosive damage, you me on, but the Overseer's Garden is a sniper rifle that's semiotic, which is a bit of, a bit of damage. It does actually, a, a good amount of damage as you can see right here it made us 88 damage and the good thing about it is the legendary mod that shoots an additional projectile and as you can obviously see on the spray and pray explode on impact doing 15 points area effect damage which is really good and its fire rate is really good it's too since it's um, um, a machine gun basically there's your guide of how to get the two. You can mod them however you want to your preferences. 
for the Overseer's Guardian, I recommend don't make it fully automatic. I just recommend it being like single shot, single shot, single shot, like a regular sniper. Of what I got. So thanks for tuning into the video guys, and this has been Roy Hook Ridge. Peace out.